Hello! In this video, I'll test what happens when a PDA, a calculator, different TVs and a computer are close to a very powerful 6-inch neodymium magnet. Some will survive, others… well, let's just see. First up is the iPack. No, not iPad. The iPack. This is a PDA, which is like a smartphone, just without the phone. When put on the magnet, the PDA decides to turn itself on. It never did before. Other times it completely reboots. However, it does seem to work, even when directly on top of the magnet. The magnet did break the battery lid into pieces, but there was no instant electrical death. The PDA did refuse to turn on at some point, even though I held the battery in place. This was solved by taking the battery out and putting it back in. The lid, however, never worked again. The calculator worked flawlessly. It could do simple math. <laughs> Dividing by zero was still a major error. And even a sine wave graph looked all right. It does help that the back plate and battery lid are held by screws. Very impractical when changing batteries, but good for fighting a magnet. Next on the test bench is a 21 inch TV. Let's first try my largest ferrite magnet on it. It is much smaller and ferrites are around 10 times weaker than neodymium magnets. So we should see a big difference in the effect on the TV. The 4-inch ferrite magnet has an effect at around 30 cm from the TV. The 6-inch neodymium magnet at around 150 cm. At zero distance, the difference in strength is very noticeable and gives a quite beautiful show. Enjoy! But why does the image react on the magnet? Here's the simplified explanation. The image is drawn using electrons that have an electric charge and therefore react in a magnetic field. A transformer delivers high voltage to the vacuum tube and this electron gun that emits electrons. The electrons coming out of the electron gun are focused to a beam using coils that are basically electromagnets. The coils can also guide the beam from side to side and up and down and in this way draw the image. But the electrons will also follow a strong external magnetic field. This almost looks like a screensaver, although it is doing anything but saving the screen. Flat screens don't use electron beams, so they are not affected in the same way. I did however manage to dim the background light on this LCD TV. Alright, this is the final fight. I recommend at least 2 meters distance between this big magnet and a computer, but here we are at 1 meter. The monitor is reacting to the magnet, but no instant death for the computer. Let's go closer. 
At 60 cm, the monitor is messed up, but still no dead computer. It may have lost data, but the picture I test with is still there. No more mercy. Let's try at 8 cm. This is dangerous, not only for the computer. The monitor is throwing up all over the place. The computer is still working. To avoid destroying myself, I wouldn't go closer than 4 cm, which is painful enough. After adjusting the screen, I open the picture again. But the picture folder seems to be gone. Later, the mouse pointer froze, and I realized that the computer was dying in front of me. What the? I killed it. I have officially killed a computer with my 6 inch new demon magnet. What? Huh? Without any error message, the computer had restarted. After an error message about time and date not set, I pressed F1 to boot. And all I got was a blinking cursor and a blinking hard drive. Maybe it would help if I removed the magnet. That is, if I can. Whoops! Disk controller failure. That's bad. Later I tried to restart it again and received different errors. It never recovered. The conclusion of this video is that neodymium magnets must be kept away from things you don't want to destroy. But you can have a large neodymium magnet in your home without blowing all the electronics and having airplanes crashing into your backyard. At 2 meters distance from even a 6 inch magnet the Earth's magnetic field is the strongest, so just keep a distance. Remember to subscribe, because in one of my upcoming videos I will dissect the hard drive and see if there's any physical damage. I will also try to explain how they managed to put a new demon magnet inside all hard drives. Thanks for watching.